Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and today is a very exciting day. And as you can see, I'm dressed for the colder weather here in Dallas, uh, but today I'm packing for Cuba, uh, to the beautiful sunshine of that incredible island, uh, for my first trip at the invitation of Hunters and Francao to attend the 2023 Habanos Festival. Uh, this is literally a bucket list trip for me, uh, something that everyone that's watched this channel uh, has known that I've been really dreaming about uh, over cigars with uh, Eddie and Edward Zahakian of the day that we would be able to smoke a cigar together in Cuba. Uh, the birthplace of the incredible fine Habano cigars, of course, that we enjoy so much. Uh, so I'm leaving uh, tomorrow, uh, so I'm a little bit late on packing, uh, but I couldn't be more excited about this trip, and I've given a lot of thought as to what I take in addition to all the video production equipment. So there's a lot of decisions to be made uh, that we'll be making today. Uh, here we go. So whenever I travel for a trip, uh, depending on the length of the trip really determines uh, what type of luggage I'm taking. I'm a big fan of the Ramoa luggage. It's uh, incredible stuff. You know, it basically rolls itself. Uh, and you reach a point where no longer do you want to be fighting or hassling with your luggage uh, through the airport. And so finally, with the amount of travel I've been doing, I bit the bullet and invested in some proper Ramoa, uh, and I'll be using that. I have three different sizes. Uh, I couldn't quote you the volume, uh, but effectively, I've got a new aluminum uh, carry-on. This is the largest carry-on that they have available, right? And then I've got two check pieces of luggage, a smaller piece, and then the large one. Uh, since uh, this is an exciting trip to Cuba, I wanna take as much of my wardrobe as possible. I've been having a little bit of trouble making decisions, uh, so I'm going to take the larger one. You know, if I were traveling to London for a week, I really find that I enjoy the smaller of the checked luggage pieces because this thing, whenever it's fully loaded, uh, can actually become quite heavy uh, and is a little bit more difficult to maneuver through airports and train stations. Um, but we're going to Cuba and I'm not worried about that. Uh, so I pulled some things from my closet. We've got it here in the wardrobe. And whenever I think about packing, uh, really the first decision that I try to make is the decision of what it is I'm going to wear onto the airplane. Uh, because that is one less thing uh, that I have to pack into my luggage. Uh, and I always wear a suit and tie onto the airplane. Uh, I never dress for travel, uh, if you will, or dress down. I always dress up for travel or dress as I normally, uh, normally would. So what to wear on the airplane? Well, so I think that I'm gonna wear something that will travel relatively nicely. Uh, this is uh, my navy linen suit from Davidge. It's a double-breasted suit. It's, you know, showing its beautiful patina uh, that only linen does. A little bit of fading, and that's uh, actually a feature, uh, not a flaw, of a beautiful piece of linen as it uh, ages and as it's sent to be dry cleaned. It shows a little bit of discoloration uh, that gives it a nice little patina. One of the things I love about this suit is its versatility in that it can very easily be split into parts. Uh, so here I have, you know, matching trousers. Of course, it could be worn as a suit. Uh, but when traveling, uh, it's important also to try to be as efficient as possible so that with as few pieces, you can have as many outfits. And so this is an absolute workhorse for me uh, that I know that I will absolutely love wearing in Cuba uh, because I can also pair it with these beautiful tobacco brown trousers. Uh, and then I have another pair of trousers that again is an absolute favorite of mine. These are from Davidge. Uh, and this is a pair of wool, silk, wool, silk, and linen. And that's the other uh, fiber in here. It's a dorme fabric. Uh, and again, this is an absolutely beautiful, lightweight uh, material that is just uh, extraordinarily uh, easy to wear and comfortable. The beauty of this is that this jacket can be worn with any three of these combinations and switched up pretty easily. So we're going to set that aside. And so I think what I'll do is, I'm gonna set this aside here. So this is one less thing to pack that goes there. So then we go into basically packing. Uh, I really split my Ramoa and think about each side differently. So the side that doesn't have the internal bars, right, the handles, uh, is the side that I use for packing my clothing. Now, one of the things that I love about this Ramoa uh, is that you can effectively pack with the hangers, right? So, you know, this is that odd pair of trousers. I can put this in, fold the hanger down, you know, it perfectly fits. So it's effectively like a carrying bag, except better because you're not struggling with it through the airport. So as much as possible, uh, I will pack um, really everything on the hangers. The only exception to that really being uh, my suits, uh, jackets would have to come off. Okay, so let's get this in there. 
small little stain, but what can we do? That's life. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna throw the trousers down first. Then we've got another uh, absolute standout for this trip. Uh, and that is this beauty right here. Fresh from Rave Fabric Care. You can see uh, Stu does an incredible job, you know, packing everything. Uh, and this is my Hornets vintage suit. Now this was made for Cuba. This suit, I have to say, was really a destiny finding this thing. Again, as all of you remember, what's incredible about this uh, is that this suit is actually older than I am. It was made in March 1981 by Cruel Castle, which was uh, the kind of James Bond tailor in London. I've shown this to a few tailors and they don't even really know what the fabric was with which this was made. This thing is incredible. Uh, I had the um, Kent Haste, you know, uh, Terry was very kind and replaced the shoulder pads. Uh, but other than like refreshing some of the internal trimmings, uh, really uh, this suit fit perfectly. No work was required. So this is absolutely going to Cuba. Now I'll pack the jackets last. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside right here, but we have the trousers uh, that'll go in with the rest of these. So I'm gonna put these right here in action. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this onto the hanger as well. Beautiful, okay, great. So the three of those go right there. I've got my tuxedo. Now again, the Havana's Festival, we have the gala dinner on the last night. Uh, this is my beautiful bespoke tuxedo, but I've got a little bit of a surprise for everyone with this trip. So we're not gonna pack this jacket now. I've got a different jacket that I've commissioned just for the trip, uh, but we certainly wanna take the trousers. Uh, and so you'll have to wait until the final uh, gala dinner episode of this series to see what jacket I end up choosing. We'll put that up. We have kind of all of this right here as we need it. Next comes to the shirts. Okay, so going to Cuba and I do have one Guayabera. This is from Fayed and Company based in Miami. Uh, he's probably doing some of the best Guayaberas here uh, in the United States. An absolutely beautiful, beautiful Guayabera uh, recently laundered by a Rave. I'm definitely taking this. Um, and then we need some nice kind of blues. I mean, I'm not really going to take much white, right, because of the trip. These are some beautiful kind of Charvet shirts. Uh, this, these are lighter weight cottons, perfect for Cuba. Uh, this is uh, almost a voile, right, perfect for the trip. This is a nice kind of blue stripe. Actually, I'm going to put this right here and wear that onto the airplane. I'm going to take one white shirt for insurance. You never know. This is a voile. Actually, I'm just thinking I am going to, I'm gonna actually take this shirt and not pack that. It's a little too dressy. It's more of a cotton dress shirt. I want something that's slightly more appropriate for the climate. I'm gonna take that. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm gone for 10 days. We need some linen. So another great shirt from DeVidge. Um, linen shirt, Cooper collar. So this is absolutely going with us. This will be kind of in addition to the Guayabara. Now, what I love about, again, the Wormoa is these shirts kind of like this. Now the trick here, right, as you see the hanger, I'm just gonna simply drop the hanger into the shirt, right? That allows these to fit very cleanly, right? I'm gonna organize these sleeves. All right, I'll show you a trick here in a moment. Um, all right, so those, I like everything in here nice and neat. It's really surprising how much you can get in uh, if you do this properly. Uh, and the best part is, is with all these on the hangers, you know, whenever I get to where I'm going, they just pull right out and go into the closet. You don't have to uh, fiddle with any hangers or anything like that. Okay, so next we need to decide the ties because I packed the ties right here. Um, so let's do that next. Ah, what do we have here? This of course is my El Casco cutter. Uh, I never really travel without this thing, uh, but I am treating myself uh, to two uh, gifts. One being 
Uh, this is my first trip to Cuba. It's only appropriate I take a proper lighter. Uh, this is an SD DuPont Linea 2 Gold Dust. And uh, I plan to be smoking a lot of cigars while in Cuba uh, amongst uh, some of the foremost aficionados and connoisseurs of Cuban tobacco. I need a proper lighter. Here it is. Uh, so this is my first, uh, let's say, proper gentleman's lighter, uh, and I can't wait to take this. Uh, this is also a gift from the Sahakians, which uh, we now carry on KirbyAllison.com. I love it so much, which is the SD DuPont cutter, right? Again, great double guillotine. But what's nice about this is it also doubles uh, as a cigar stand. So I thought it was a little catchy at first, uh, but really this is a perfect marriage uh, between form and function uh, and two functions at that. Uh, and I find that this is something I actually really enjoy. So I'm, I don't really have much of a case for these. This was um, something I'm repurposing from the video production studio. Um, but we're gonna put these in my checked luggage in this little side pouch. Now in the United States with TSA, you can travel with a soft flame lighter, but I have been told that traveling out of Cuba, you've got to check your lighter, otherwise we'll take it to the airport. Uh, we'll put the cutter in here as well. And we haven't spoken about shoes yet, but I always try to travel with at least a wax uh, polish uh, and a brush uh, just to kind of keep things uh, looking good. So we've cleared that. Let's go to ties. Beautiful, ancient matter tie. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, if there was ever a tie made for Cuba, is this not it? I mean, this is like a perfect match to the Cohiba yellow. Uh, so we're supposed to be going to El Aguito. Uh, this will be a tie for that trip. Uh, and I throw these in the middle of the shirts because what I find is that as I fold it over, it provides a protection for the ties. Beautiful, sovereign grade, brown jacquard tie. Gorgeous, can't wait to wear it. Look at this blue. Again, gorgeous, made for Cuba. Can't wait to wear it. Uh, and then this one right here is one of our reps. I think I'm going to take that with me uh, on the airplane for this uh, outfit. So we're gonna put this on that hanger. Right, there we go. Okay, now the other thing uh, is I expect to be wearing more open collared shirts, the Guayabera, that linen shirt. Uh, and so um, one of the things that uh, I've seen kind of in and around London amongst my better dressed friends like Tom Chamberlain and Nick Faux, uh, is that if they're wearing an open collar shirt, they'll have basically a bandana uh, that they use to tie, to kind of conceal things uh, so that they're not showing too much chest hair. Uh, there's still some modesty and discretion that one would expect from a gentleman. So I'm gonna take a few of these, uh, pack those there. I've got a beautiful Simon of Godard one that's in a few different colors. Um, and then I have another, so let me fold those. Get those there in the middle. Okay, we're done with this. Put this back down. Okay, so at this point, I can kind of fold these sleeves over. Close this section off, if you will. Fold that over, voila, perfect, nice, neat. Now we still have a lot of room here, uh, as you can see. I'm gonna put that a little bit towards the bottom, because that's always how it falls. Now a few other garments, right? Uh, another thing is a nice little uh, safari shirt. Again, another piece from Davidge, heavyweight linen. Uh, just something great to wear over, say, uh, this linen shirt. I forgot to pack that. Um, so let's get that in here. So we're definitely gonna take this. And here I'm going to alternate, just to give me a little bit more room with the hangers. Put that right there. Okay, there we go. I absolutely love this. It's got stains all over it. You can see I wear it so much. Um, okay, brown shirt. Don't think I'm gonna take this. Uh, this is an absolutely beautiful piece from Will Whiting uh, in a chambray. Don't think I'm gonna take that. Uh, I am gonna take one pair of shorts. I don't know if I'll wear them, 
But again, I'm in Cuba. I should probably have at least one pair. So we'll throw that here. Okay. We're taking this later. Right. This, right. I've got a dinner shirt I'll take. Don't need any more white. Again, beautiful pieces from Charvet that I think, unfortunately, I'm just gonna not pack. This is a beautiful uh, purple uh, Cooper collar. And this is, again, one of my favorites. Nice soft blue. It's not a solid blue, it has visual texture, but I have to make some choices. We're getting kind of full. Um, I think that's it for the clothes. Next, accessories. Socks. So, again, uh, one of my favorite materials is linen. Uh, this is one of our 100% linen uh, socks, sovereign grade. I'm going to take this for the airplane. So we'll put that aside. Uh, I always pack pajamas whenever I travel. These are a pair of bud pajamas uh, that we're actually thinking about uh, launching on Kirby Allison uh, as a collaboration during the holiday. Uh, the reason I always pack pajamas is you can never be certain on the quality of linen, a bed linen at a hotel. And so, you know, having your own pajamas ensures that regardless of how terrible the bed linen is, uh, you'll still sleep comfortably. So I always take that. I'm gonna pack a fragrance. This is the uh, Floris Neroli Voyage, perfect for Cuba. Nice and kind of um, citrusy. And again, one of the benefits of checking luggage is you can take an entire vial of fragrance. One of the other creature comforts that I always travel with is my own bar of soap. Uh, this is a bar of florist soap. I always take a new one with me, especially for a trip this long. And again, it's just one of those kind of home comforts that you can take with you uh, that's very easy. And the benefit is, is again, you never know the quality of the soap. Normally it's never really great at a hotel. And so there you go, you've got your own. I thought it would only be appropriate, Taylor of Old Bond Street tobacco shaving cream. So I'm gonna take that. I've got some uh, Forte styling cream. Uh, it's my favorite, I'm taking a new jar of that. Uh, we've got some other linen socks right there. I've got some brown socks. Again, all sovereign grade, 100% silk. Uh, these are absolutely beautiful uh, and will work uh, absolutely perfectly with this new suit. Uh, so we're gonna throw this over there. We'll kind of sort all that out later. Look at these blues, right? I love 100% silk. I mean, it's really just an absolutely divine material. Um, I've got my shaving brush. I always pack with my double-edged razor. Now, one of the important things when traveling with your double-edged razor is one, if you are gonna carry it on, you can do that. My suggestion is to always disassemble it and uh, maybe put your blades somewhere else. Uh, they always find the razor, but not always the blades. But it doesn't matter, I'm checking. Uh, but I always like to disassemble it because I have had this shear off before, depending on how it's packed. So we're going to throw that in here. And we've got, again, some uh, Taylor Bold Bonstrang tobacco deodorant. I'm going to throw this in there as well. We have some underwear. I'm primarily taking white. You know, we carry um, underwear in two different colors, white and black. And again, it's important because depending on the color of garment that you're wearing, you really want to uh, match uh, the underwear. So like for instance, I would never wear black with this suit because it would really show right through the trousers. Uh, you need to have a white for that. Now the flip side is, is for this linen, you know, I'm going to want to wear black. One, two, three, four, five, six pairs. It gives me enough to worst case scenario if we don't have any type of laundry. Um, so we've got that, we've got a brush. Next, we go to shoes. Very important decisions to be made. Again, I don't know how I'm gonna make these decisions. So let's see, what am I gonna wear onto the airplane? Oof, tough choice. I'm just having a little bit of trouble deciding because I've uh, created this beautiful shine on my bespoke dominant Casey pigskins. These shoes are absolutely going. Now this would be my first choice for wearing this with this suit, right? This dark brown really pairs beautifully. But I'm just a little reticent, given the fact that these have a, such a beautiful shine on them, uh, to risk damaging it all during travel. So my instinct would say wear it with this suit, uh, but my uh, intuition is saying uh, pack it. So I'm gonna throw this in a pair of 
uh, shoe bags, which I always travel with. I always habitually travel with my shoe trees because again, uh, if you're wearing a pair of shoes often, uh, like say you take one or two pairs on a trip um, and they're getting a lot of wear and there's no rest in between wearing like every day, it's essential that you uh, uh, allow the shoes to rest overnight at least with their shoe trees in it. So I always pack my shoe trees. Um, you know, the weight can become a little bit of an issue, uh, but it's worth it. Now this is just gonna pack really nicely in here. I use my underwear to kind of fill the void. So we're gonna kind of pack around that as soon as we kind of get going. Um, hmm. Choices, choices, choices. Gosh, it's so difficult, right? Especially whenever it comes to shoes. I mean, you know, my inclination is to want to pack everything. Uh, and we've all made that mistake, but we, uh, at least I find that I regret it later. Okay, another pair of shoes. Again, pair of Dominic Casey, just absolute home runs. These casuals, right, to pebble grain. I wear these things so much whenever I'm traveling, it's ridiculous. Uh, they can be worn without socks. Uh, so I always take these with me. Get those in there. Right. Kind of starting to pack around things. The other ones, again, shoe trees. These are just simple uh, cedar Wellington shoe trees we sell on the website. Get this nooks and crannies. Okay, one, two. All right, these spectators uh, from Carmina. Another beautiful pair of shoes made for Cuba. So I'm gonna take those, uh, but I'm actually gonna wear those onto the airplane. Uh, and then the next choice uh, is another pair of brown shoes. And these Foster and Sons, uh, absolutely just beautiful shoes, exceptionally comfortable. I think we're gonna pack these as well. So we'll throw these uh, into the shoe bags and um, figure out where they're gonna go. Now this side right here is honestly getting a little bit full. I'm going to go ahead and close this off, right? We've got the pajamas. Uh, I'm going to put these over here. Now, the one thing I'm just a little bit concerned about is I like to save this side and keep it as empty as possible exclusively for my suit jackets, and you'll see why in a moment. Um, so I actually might uh, pack these in my carry-on or even I've put them in my, you know, my little tote bag, my overnight bag that I use as my briefcase. Um, I don't want to overload this too much. Uh, and honestly, it's always a good idea uh, to have uh, a little bit of clothing um, carried onto the airplane in case they lose this, you've got something to change into. Okay, so I'm gonna set this stuff aside. The fragrance is definitely going in the bag. Yes, pocket. We'll put this aside. All right, next are the suit jackets. So this is going on the airplane with me. This goes in here and then I need to kind of think, I might pack one or two other jackets whenever I get home. I've got the little surprise jacket that I was telling you all about. Now, whenever it comes to packing my suit jackets, you know, I turn them inside out, right? Fold them like this and then fold them in half again, kind of like that. Now. Again, I like to not crowd this side of the suitcase. And again, I could show you with this, even though I'm wearing this onto the airplane, um, you know, it fits nicely, right? You can really kind of put these things, right? So that again, even though they're folded, what's important is that they're not being squished. So what I'll do is I'll take this side of the luggage, right, which has the majority of all the stuff in it, and then I'll tighten this down as tight as possible, right? And then I'll take this over, that side of the luggage, and I'm gonna tighten it down, but I'm not going to like completely, you know, again, just smother the clothing. Then whenever you go to close this, again, the garments on this side of the luggage, those suit jackets, have space, have room. That's one of the things I love you know, so much about the design of this luggage. Um, so there we go. I've got a few other items right here. I've got, of course, swim trunks. I don't know if I'll have time. I've got some extra braces right here. Um, so we'll throw that in here. And of course, no trip would be complete without a proper uh, hat, a proper Monte Cristo. So I've got just the one. 
This is from Optimo Hats. Graham Thompson, of course, a good friend. Uh, and such a special trip like this uh, really does call for a special hat. Uh, this is uh, really an extra fine or extra fino uh, Monte Cristo, completely hand woven uh, in Ecuador. And this is the last thing that I need. So beautiful hat. As you can see, all of Graham's hats come in this nice hat box. Given the excessive amount of luggage that I'm traveling with, uh, I'll actually wear this onto the airplane. Uh, so there we have it, packing for Cuba. The other thing I just will say uh, is I do exclusively take my suit hangers with me. So whenever I'm back home, I have an opportunity to pull uh, that off of the hanger. I'll put those suit hangers onto this side. Uh, the reason is, is I just find that you can never really be certain of the quality of hangers of the hotel you're going to. Uh, and so for that reason, I just find it so much uh, easier and less stressful to travel with my own hangers because I know with certainty, whenever I arrive at the hotel, garments are gonna be well looked after. So uh, that is uh, certainly the case. Uh, this is Packing for Cuba, stay tuned. Uh, we have got some exciting content planned for this trip. Uh, and I, I couldn't be more excited. Of course, thanks to everyone that watches this channel. Uh, you can support uh, our efforts this trip through our Patreon. Uh, it's one of the best ways to support uh, the content that we film, especially this travel content, which to be completely frank is quite expensive to film. And then of course you've got KirbyAllison.com. So if you haven't visited, please take a moment to do so. It's the best way to support the content here on this channel. Uh, there you'll find the largest collection of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other clothing accessories for the well-dressed and well-traveled sovereign grade necktie, braces, socks, and uh, you know, that is how we support this channel. And of course, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.